good morning. It is yeah, it's still the morning, it's 11.30. Um, I've actually been kind of working all morning and I have no idea what this vlog is going to turn into. But one thing for sure that I wanted to share with you guys, I went thrift shopping, well, Romeo and I went thrift shopping two days ago and I had every intention of just finding at least three things to do a thrift flip video over on my main channel. Well, I found those three things and then I found a whole bunch of other stuff. So I wanted to do a haul for you guys since I already had it all laid out. Look at this. Oh! <gasps> uh! We did venture a little further away um, from our normal kind of like spots that we hit. We drove all the way up to Simi Valley, past Simi Valley, just kind of going around just seeing and exploring other thrift stores. I really love mom and pop shops over like Goodwills or big corporate kind of thrift stores. I just feel like I find more unique stuff. I don't really find things to flip there. I'd normally find things that I just want to keep as is. So, oh my gosh. I. And I wrote it all down because I was like, I need to figure out how much I paid for all of this because some things were on sale. So I went through while I can remember and I wrote down all of these pieces so that I can remember. So let's do a haul. First and foremost, this. The first, one of the first stores that we went to, no, actually the first store that we went to, this little friend was sitting outside. And it's rare that you find a frame, well, it obviously used to have a mirror in it. And mirrors back then were really thick. Look how thick the inside is here. You rarely find these that are this old that are actually still all intact. I'm not sure if anything was might have been missing from the inside there, but it looks so good. The color is good, it's probably oak. And it was free, you guys, free? I was like, well, this has to come with me. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it right now. I mean, my obvious choice is just put a mirror in it and above a dresser, <laughs> that would be gorgeous. Um, or turn it into something else. So that's one of the thrift flips that's gonna be in this week's video over on the main channel, which will probably be out by the time you see this. So you'll know what I turn it into. We love things that are free. I don't normally find things that are free. At that same place, I found all of these copper canisters. Look how pretty they are. Sugar, this one is flour, this one is coffee so these three were a set and they were twelve dollars which is so cool but then as i was walking around i found the pasta version but it was five dollars but i was like i kind of need i kind of need it i need the whole set and it was cool on the inside it has a measure you know so it's like single serving double serving maybe something like that or maybe two and four i don't know um, but I thought those were so cool and I'm hoping that I can kind of shine them up and just make them look a little more perfect. At that same place, I found this little cute little teapot for $2.50. It had this pretty woven handle. I was, it was just so cute. I had, I had to have it. It's super cute. Also, all of their glassware was 75% off and I really love to find etched glass like this and this one was ambered colored So I was like, oh, I have to I have to have it. Kinsley. Why aren't you? What is that? <laughs> I had to have this it was three dollars, but it was 75% off of that So I think she charged me 75 cents and I don't know if that's 75 percent percent off or not but she charged me 75 cents for it found that there and over here we went to santa monica to the salvation army and i found and i paid up for this i paid ten dollars but look how pretty this kind of french country rolling pin is i thought it would be so pretty in a kitchen makeover also from there i've just kind of been collecting pretty christmas things that i kind of like this was a candle i thought it was kind of a pretty um rust kind of orangey color. It's a candle that we won't light, but it'll be pretty kind of mixed in. All of their Christmas was, oh, hi, Kinsley. All of their Christmas was 50% off, so it was like $2.50, not bad. Next, I don't know which stores were which at this point, um, but here are all the others. Oh, actually, yeah, this brass desk lamp, I've actually seen a couple of times, made one at the flea market, one at someplace else and i always regret picking it up and the first one i saw was 20 bucks the second one i saw was like 15 or something like that and this one was 25 percent off of 4.99 and it works i tested it always test your lamps at thrift stores before you buy them um so i'm hoping that I can kind of clean it up a little bit and look how pretty that is i've always regretted so i'm like oh look it keeps getting cheaper every time i see it i also found 
these um these also kind of need to be a little cleaned up i got all three of them for three dollars so they were a dollar a piece and i just love collect you guys know i don't know when it'll end but i keep buying them every time i see them because they're like a dollar oh this you guys is the prettiest thing it's brass as well and it was a dollar it's actually meant or i think it's meant to hang by a fireplace because the striker is on the bottom and you hang it by your fireplace and they're long matches so that you can light your fireplace i was like a dollar i need this in my life <laughs> So that, I got also got this like kind of triangle-esque basket. It was 25% off of 99 cents. Um, so it was 75 cents. And I thought it would be really pretty hung, maybe on like a hook or something, in a kitchen or entryway with like some flowers, some dried flowers coming out of it. I thought that would be like super pretty, kind of just decorative. But what else do you do with a triangle basket like this? It doesn't have a hook, but I feel like I could make that work. Also at that place, I had I've been wanting to make, and I'll show you, because I've been wanting to make something like this. To hang in a kitchen for a, a coming um, makeover, and then do a shelf over it. And this was my intention to make this when I hadn't found that yet, when I found this. And I always kind of see these, they kind of expand like that. But it, it was 25% off of 99 cents, so 75 cents. I was just going to use the pegs to make it straight, because I'm not sure if I really like this um, look but I do like it straight and then I was at a Goodwill down the street and I found this one for $2.99 and I was like well I can make two or I can make it longer or do something like that also at that place I found this really pretty pottery kind of like mug type it's kind of heavy for an actual mug but it was 75 cents so it was 25% off of 99 cents I thought it was really pretty and this is a small version of a canister that I found in Texas. It was $1.99 and then it was 75% off of that. How cool. This is also going to be one of my thrift flips. Um, I'm going to turn this kind of into a jug over on the main channel. So that'll be live. You can check it out. That was $6 and it's huge. It's already weirdly painted purple, but it's glass. This one I found first. I thought I was going to do this one. I maybe do both. This one was 3 bucks. I felt like they were good jug shapes. Um, and then look at all of these vintage books that I found. They were all kind of varying in price, nothing over $4. Three, three, four, four, and then this whole stack of three, I got for six bucks, so these were $2 each, and they're just beautiful and vintage and really pretty colors. They're very rust and natural colors. I use them on my bookshelf or for room makeovers. Sometimes I do lifts. I know that people think that that's weird. I don't care. I like it. <laughs> um, I love using books as decor, but most of the time I read them too. But things like vintage like this that I'd probably ruin or rip by reading, they're just special to have. Last thing that I found was this Parisian style chair. I imagined it being in like a outside on a Parisian bistro and it was just super cute. It was $4.99 and it was 25% off. And I don't like the, obviously this doesn't go with my decor. So I'm gonna do a thrift flip on it and then probably paint it and recover the seat. But it was so, I think I think it's Parisian cause it's more rounded, rounded here, but it's so cute. So yeah, I wanted to do a haul. I don't know what we're gonna do after this, but you will probably see me in like uh, two seconds. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so ready for it to be the holiday season, Christmas specifically. I know we kind of like glaze over other holidays when it comes to Christmas, especially this year. I'm just so ready for a little bit of joy. Aren't you ready for Christmas? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready for Christmas? Look at that sweet baby's face. <laughs> I'm ready to start decorating. I'm just ready for the whole house to turn into a Christmas wonderland. And we're, I'm doing it pretty big this year, or at least I have every intention on doing it that way. So I've already ordered my Christmas tree. I'm actually doing my first Christmas DIY video really soon. So I wanted to go to a couple places and look for Christmas decor just to see what they have. I want this year to be a little bit warm, Scandinavian with hints of like warm traditional in it too. So I don't know. We're gonna see what we can find. I just I need some inspiration that's outside of my computer. So we are headed to Century City Mall. They have a terrain there, which is um, part of the Anthropology Free People Company. 
um, but it's like their flowers and Christmas decorations. So I want to go there and then I want to stop by Home Goods as well. I love all these frayed velvet ribbons. It's exactly what I was looking for for one of the DIYs I want to do. But I really like the green. And I wish they had it in the one inch. I think I might ask. It's beautiful. All these colors are really pretty. This is the most Christmas I've seen anywhere. Home Goods has tons, but I want like, I'm gonna talk close. I want like really elegant, expensive looking Christmas and it's just like not here, you know? There's like cute stuff, but like look at this. I don't, I don't want that Christmas. <laughs> I really wanna find some berries. But these are like two clusters. I want them like more like sticky, like stick berries. If that makes sense. Like more expensive looking. They had them at Terrain, but they were so expensive. So I found these and I actually want to dry out my own fruit and my own oranges. But this will be good to have. It's fuller. It's $9.99. I don't know how many I can make. I wish it was a little more abstract of a plaid. So they have it in the tan color and they also have it in white. And I much rather, I really like the tan actually. And it's $19.99. Really pretty. It kind of looks like Burberry to me a little bit, but I think paired with something more textured, it'll look really pretty on the couch. There's also this like larger one, larger plaid. I think I still like this one the most. Oh, look at how cute these stockings are. I kind of like that they would be all different. And this one's really like macrame and woven. And this one's plain too. And then the boys, Romeo and Sebastian, would have these. I feel like they're really cool. I just hope it goes with the theme. I like to go ahead and buy stuff and then work with it and see if it's going to work. And if not, I'll just return it. But they're really cute. They have a lot of them. Is, is uh i don't know where the whole ho holiday stuff is the christmas decorations i think they're all the way back there no way. but i felt like i could just climb yes so when we moved into the storage unit christmas was a long way away so we put it in the back and then we filled it up with our stuff but i found it Oh my gosh, we got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. <sighs> okay, so probably like after winter, after the crazy holiday season, it may make most sense now that I store stuff for future room makeovers 
it would make so much more sense to maybe get a slightly larger unit because now we both uh, store our business stuff in here. It would make so much more sense to get a slightly larger unit, maybe a little wider because the problem is it's getting in so that we have enough space to put some shelving and have it like I can go in there and pull from decor like pillows and lamps and I have all of these great things that I found thrifting, but I can't find anything. It's so hard to get and I, I feel like I'm losing track of what I have. So that could be a really fun video for like in January or something when things calm down from like the holiday season. So stay tuned, but we got what we needed. <laughs> Lee, are you already getting in this stuff? Got the stuff from storage. It's all back there. I'm totally ready to start decorating for Christmas and my tree that I ordered is still not here. I, it is driving me insane. I ordered it three weeks ago and they've been very nice, but it's from King of Christmas. I got stalked online, like, and their, their trees are really beautiful, especially online. Their reviews are fantastic. And I think I just bought the one tree that maybe everyone wanted or the one tree that was having problems getting here because of COVID. And it's just like stressing me out. It was supposed to ship on the 27th. It didn't. It was supposed to ship on the 1st. It didn't. It was supposed to ship on the 5th. It didn't. And now I'm still waiting. It's supposed to be delivered today and the tracking just isn't updating. So one thing that I forgot to show you guys that I got from the thrift store were these really beautiful stocking holders and they're just iron. They're really heavy. Um, but I thought they would be really pretty mixed in with the other two that I have that I picked up from storage. These were $7.50, but their Christmas was half off. So not bad. What is that? Uh, 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 $3.75? Oh, I don't know. Something like that. And then from Terrain and Anthropology, I got some of that ribbon. I thought it was so beautiful. I want to do like a really fun DIY with ribbon. I wanted green in the half inch. Um, but they didn't have it, they only had it in the inch. So I got the white color, like an off-white and ivory color in the one inch or the half inch rather. There I also got some really beautiful um, green taper candles, hand dip taper candles. They're a pretty color. This is kind of the majority of the color that I'm going for this year. I wanna do a lot of green. I don't wanna do too much red or too much silver. I wanna go with like green, gold, warm, rich tones. So I think I've got three sets. Um, so I got six dip dipped candles. They'll be really pretty in some of those vintage candle holders that I've been collecting for a while. And then when I went to Home Goods, Home Goods by far had the most Christmas decor of anywhere. So I got those stockings that you guys saw. I wanna see if I wanna use the ones that I have from last year or maybe give them to a friend or something and use these or whatever. I, I like to buy, play around and decorate and get it perfect and then return what I don't use, especially since I decorate so early. Um, so I got all four of these. I thought they were so pretty and I kind of wanted a mix of all the different ones. I know that this has a lot more red than I originally wanted to go with because I want green, but again, we're just playing around. I also got those dried fruit slices um, because I want to make some garlands this year. Um, I want to DIY them from scratch, but I'm like, I don't know how many I'm going to be able to make. So it was kind of nice to have extra if I need it. I also got that throw. They had a lot of different, they had a lot of different throws. They had plenty and plenty of throws in every print and every color. They had a lot of the plaid too in different background colors, but I felt like this was best for my decor. And I kind of like to take, you know, the existing everyday color palette and everyday theme, and then what would be the Christmas version of that? so that it looks complete and cohesive with your already decor. So I got those. And then I also was like checking out and this was such pretty wrapping paper. I thought it was just really simple, natural Scandinavian craft paper type wrapping paper. You never know how many presents Kinsley's gonna get, right? So next up we are fully decorating for Christmas. We'll have a behind the scenes of all of that probably. And if you haven't checked out the thrift flip video over on the main channel, I'll leave it linked for you. Um, I love how they came out. Love them. I feel like they were some of my best thrift flips ever. And if you guys aren't subscribed to the vlog, you should be. It's new content every week in addition to my main channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and we will see you guys next week. 
and you'll probably see me with a tree behind me next time not not so festive <laughs> bye guys kinsley are you gonna say bye you say bye kinsley oh